go into Scandinavia House today, my little piece of Sweden in New York, because I want to know a little bit more about this place. I want to know why it's here, who built it, what's its purpose, and we're going to get the answers. I'm here today with Ed Gallagher, who is the president of the American Scandinavian Foundation. Yes, right. Nice the American you. Scandinavian Foundation is uh, um, the owner and built Scandinavia House 10 years ago. And why did you build it? We built it because we felt we needed a place where Americans could come on a regular basis to learn more about the Nordic countries and where people who are here who are maybe part Scandinavian or of Scandinavian descent could also come to find products and mm -hmm. attended programs and events that are related to all of the Scandinavian countries. Oh, it's kind of like having a clubhouse. A little, a but way. it's a very public institution, and actually, among our visitors, we find that 75% um, of them have no Scandinavian connection whatsoever. Really? That they That's are Americans who are interested in Scandinavia, maybe have traveled there, have business there, but want to learn more. Good. Also, the, the children's play area is spectacular. To me, that's like so Swedish. I don't know if it was intended to be Swedish exactly, well, but to me, it looks very Swedish yes. city. New York right? Magazine New York called it the best children's space in the city. That's amazing. And a lot um, of it's places. just been recently redone, and the uh, mastermind behind the uh, reinvention of the children's uh, learning center is a suite, Monica Heimlich. So everybody knows Lego. I didn't know that they were actually Danish. It's a secret compartment. Very cool. So you can pretend you're building a house. A Swedish summer Stuttgart. Did I say that right? So what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a mushroom house and it's based on a very uh, specific type of Swedish mushroom, which is actually more red generally on top than this one is. And it is poisonous highly poisonous, oh. so the children can crawl in and out of the mushroom, but they cannot chew on it. I need one of these in my house. So, if I want to pretend to be the Swedish king, So this is Smorgas Chef. It's a great place to come for tea, for lunch, or for dinner even. They have meatballs, grovlox, salads, and all kinds of things that are typically Scandinavian, but really more Swedish. This is crazy. I don't even know what's going on here. Some frozen animal. Well, I, I come here all the time, not only for the restaurant, but I buy a supply of lingonberries all the time. Lingonberries? Yeah. Really? Like this right here. That's it. That's there the one. It's the only place in New York that I can find them. But I learned something else. There's this, this juice, the lingonberry juice, that's fabulous. You can stir a little bit of the lingonberry jam and some... Drink concentrate. Right. Some seltzer water and a little bit of that is the most refreshing drink. And apparently it has a very high antioxidant level. Uh, more than acai berries even. So it's pretty amazing. There it is. There's the Svetia shirt. This is my favorite shirt here. Made in America with Swedish parts. Look at this. 